coming up in this video. I'd say if I could do this, this would be the craziest thing I've probably ever done. To get down, like Tommy's holding on to the rope. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's very steep though, isn't it? First time I've ever walked down a feature with a rope. A rope to get up and down the bloody feature is insane. Drop it! Let's try and go as slow as I can. Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, we are at one of the most famous features in the Sea to Sky corridor and in Squamish, Whistler. This is in and out Burger. You've seen it in tons of videos before, but we've never covered it on the channel here. It's insanely steep. Take a look at it right now. Does it really no justice? It's incredibly grippy. We can literally walk up on our toes up here, but it's a long way down. Braking control needs to be pristine. So we're gonna head up and uh, we've got Tommy and Ben in the background there, first timers. We're going to take them down it and uh, just show how slow you really can go on this so to gain some confidence for them. First run in, warm up zone. Give the video a like before we get into the first run. Wish the boys luck. Yeah, we'll just, uh, so we'll creep down. This is the guy's first time down in and out and uh, the granite's insanely grippy but you can probably ride blooming honestly beside each other it's that chill I'm, i don't want to ride too slow on it because i will be able to stop on it yeah, that's the thing show me bro just uh you can grab like a ton of front brake so chill Terrified. <gasps> slow, slow, yes, Ben. I must have looked like the biggest squid ever then. My ass was like. <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. It was scary, that. Isn't it? it was. Yes, boy. Yeah. But you almost stopped in the middle. You were so controlled. First impressions, you rode it. Well, first, first run down. Crazy. Yeah? Yeah, because like. We're just saying in Whistler, the rock is completely different. Yeah. And you sort of, I feel like, because we've been there for a few days now, I sort of know what I'm getting with it. Whereas mm -hmm. with this, just going straight into something that steep, it's got so much more grip than mm -hmm. the stuff in Whist. It's insane, isn't it? It's so grippy. Like you can literally walk up that like, like On your toes. toes, yeah. Crazy. What do you think, man? All good? Bit scary. Pretty scary. Very scary. Nice and controlled, eh? Just slow. Tiny sweet pull. Do you reckon I need to pull, yeah? Just to get your front wheel over. Right. Yes, lad! Right, we're wrapping up things here at in and out a couple laps. We're absolutely parched. We're going to go take a look at Hellvator, which is new. And uh, if we don't do it today, then we'll come back when we're feeling fresh, reset our minds and bodies and go for it. So we've just spotted a little thing down here next to in and out that looks pretty old, but it's definitely been road. We're going to creep down it. Hopefully it does some sort of justice. But yeah, let's get after it. All right, fellas? Yeah. Yeah, man, let's do it. Really slow. So slow, easy. Whew. Just slow. 
<laughs> yes, lad. That was sick. You can go so slow. He tell you, you need a blooming good tire sponsor to ride around here because you'd be going through them like nothing else. <laughs> so we're at the top of Highway to Hell and then Hellvator is just out here. This is a line that I've been wanting to do for some time. I've never conquered it or done it. It's just insanely steep. I can't justify and say how steep it is. I mean, I think I can do it, like get down. It's just a long way. You can't even see. Don't even do any justice. Like I said, there's a rope to get down. Like Tommy's holding onto the rope. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It is, isn't it? It's super safe, eh? It's not often you see a feature with a bloody rope to get down to, is it? That's when you know it's crazy. I'd say if I could do this, this would be the craziest thing I've probably ever done, I would say. Very easy to walk up, though. <laughs> <laughs> I've observed it for not even 30 seconds. We're going to call it on that line. It's just... That's when you know it's nuts when uh, you're calling it. Yeah, so like at the Tour de Nord, I was either first or second or whatever to drop into all the features because I felt good. I mean, I feel good, but not on something like that. That would be the craziest feature of the Tour de Nord, I'd say, this one. Um, so we're going to try and organise another day to come back and hopefully get some guidance from Nate or Johan. Um, and yeah, it's just, I think we're a bit tired after all the riding we've been doing. It's, it's easy to overcook it. But, in saying that, there's a sick bit of trail all the way down and some little features that we can do. And uh, yeah, there's no shame, like Thomas said, there's no shame in kind of not, you know, like being like, yeah, I'm not feeling it today because the, the feature isn't going anywhere. It's always going to be here, so we can always come back and do it another day. Um, so yeah, we're going to head down the hill and uh, we'll cut back to when we return. Bad Skomish for day two. One word to describe Remy. Magical. Not job. <laughs> Two words. One word. <laughs> I'm going incredible. So we've come up. We're going to plan on doing the features. We're way too tired, and uh, we're making a smart call that not many people do to call it a day and uh, come back for another time and uh, have another crack at it. First time I've ever walked down a feature with a rope to, to support. Pretty <sighs> Yeah, it doesn't look like you want to pull off that. No, you kind of release from here ish. It yeah. all makes sense on the bike. But yeah. You, you roll slow, as slow as you can. It's not an easy to case. You know, you literally have to be like stopped. Yeah. Right here. And like. Not pop at all. Right. The commitment factor is super high. Yeah. As soon as you're into it, you are riding to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. No, no matter, matter what, what happens, you know. So there's a big mental component, and then the mm. other thing about it, it's like it's not actually hard, but you're in it for so long. You're yeah. Just like waiting and waiting and waiting. So you hit that. So you have to be very like relaxed, <clears throat> a little bit zen, you know. Make sure you're like doing it for all the right reasons. Yeah. You don't like you really want it. I think if you don't want it, it's not going anywhere, you know? Yeah. And there's no... Run in. <laughs> the drop itself is the easy part. Yeah, it looks, I mean. it looks it. It's the combination of like, the mind... And yeah. The I mean, have you seen the size of the drop? Oh mate, I know, but... It's here. It's the slab and the drop. And then, once you're in the air, it's the best feeling ever. You're like, oh my god, this is beautiful. I bet. And stomp and whap, whap, you're feeling it. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you you chill you wherever you lay. Yeah, man. Not concerned about the drop at all. It's that, isn't it? It's how steep this is. I'm like, can I control it? Yeah, you can. It's like, hell yeah, you can. You're the man. So we're back at Elevator. Nate's gonna drop in. 
this is when I see him do this, this I'll be able to know whether or not I think I can do it or not, it's depending on how he rides a slab. Considering he has amazing brake control. Oh my! No. No man. Yes. Oh, oh. that. Yo! Holy shit! Nuts. A rope to get up and down the bloody feature is insane. Hands down, the scariest thing ever. I'm not just saying that. Give a like on the video right now. Give me some some courage. Come on, got it. Drop it! Try go as slow as I can. Oh. Woo! Bro, That's thank you. <laughs> Appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> you crushed it, man. That's that was insane. Awesome. You nailed it, like you went a little faster, but yeah. you were still really patient with the braking, which is perfect. Yeah. And you had a sweet little pre-hop to the do, lined you up like you landed right in the money spot. Yeah. Had it sweet under control. That was sick. Thanks, dude. Really good. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I was so stoked. You! Oh, this is nice. Right, so we are wrapping up things here, almost in Whistler. It's been such an amazing trip. Um, honestly, really overwhelming. Last year I was here pretty much myself and then having Tommy and Ben here and Ben was honestly epic. Um, so many laughs, such a good time on the bike. I can say that it's been the best month of my whole life riding a bike. It's been been insane. Um, yeah, that last day was, or one of the last days that you just watched the video there, was pretty crazy. We're coming towards the end of a really kind of long, tiring trip, even though it was great. Still mentally, physically exhausting. We were riding every day, filming every day, editing, Obviously on the beers, having a good time. It's a lot. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world, but it was pretty tiring. And we came back for the second day and I was really happy that we made that decision because it made the day that we came back worth it. Um, that Hellvator line is insane. I cannot stress how high consequence that is. Like Nate said, once you're in, you're getting to the bottom, good or bad, it doesn't matter. You either ending up in hospital or you're making it work. So there's no real option at that point. You have to make it work. So I'm glad that I made it work and smooth and had everything calculated and I wanted it. So I was doing it for the right reasons. Um, but yeah, amazing trip. I highly recommend Whistler. I'm not I'm not just saying that. It is the best place in the world to ride a mountain bike. Um, so yeah, I don't really have much more else to say than that. Slap a like on the video. These have been epic. We are heading to France in Morzine. We're going to do some, we're going to Chatel, a couple other places. It's going to be epic. So I'm stoked to get to uh, Europe and uh, do something different there. 
But it's been a good time out here. Until next year, we will be back in Whistler again for a month. So, yeah, I guess you'll have to wait till then for Whistler content. But it's been a belter. Get in the comments below. Let me know what you would like to see next. Uh, I'm actually in the look for a new downhill bike. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see me buy next. And, uh, yeah, it's been sick. So thank you for watching. The support has been uh, super epic. Uh, the response I've had since I've been out here has been cool. All the fans, people, folk I've met really grateful to be in the position that i'm in right now so uh, thank you to everyone and love to you all peace out and we'll see you in france